uh, before we move to the next uh, speaker, I'd like to acknowledge pala mga tanong ng mga media na hindi natin nat nasagot kasi walang time. Mr. Berlin Ruiz of People's Tonight and also Victor Valdemar of Pilip uh, Victor Valdemar Ruiz of Filipino Mirror and others. Marami pang mga tanong na we will submit to the uh, Director Panganipan. Next, uh, we have as our for closing statement, Dr. Cecilia Pedro, President of Federation of Filipino Chinese Chambers of Commerce and Industry Inc. FFCCCII, representing the private sector. And before uh, his closing statement, I'd like to announce that uh, magbibigay siya ng free happy toothpaste to all the media guests here uh, uh, kasama sa pandesal gift natin uh, as expression of his support and FFCCCII support for the urban farming and peri-urban farming program. Dr. Cecilio K. Pedro for your closing statement. Uh, thank you, uh, Chairman uh, Wilson. Yan ang tawag namin sa kanya for this uh, very important topic uh, which we discussed thoroughly this morning sp specifically about urban farming. I have three pointers uh, as my closing uh, statement. Importante po yung long-term strategy. Ang agriculture is not gonna happen overnight. We have to invest we have to look at the future and we have to look at the potentials. We have 110 million population. One of the biggest in Southeast Asia. In fact, we're number two next to Indonesia. Napakaraming Pilipino. Kailangan kumain. Kailangan may pagkain. So ano ang gagawin natin to make our food security stable, sustainable? Kailangan po natin pagkain yan. Whether it's rice, whether it's vegetable, whether it's meat production, kailangan may strategic planning, strategic move. And hopefully the government with the leadership of PBPM will put now more focus on agriculture. Agriculture is very, very important. Aside from, of course, education. Yeah? We have to educate our younger generation on the importance of food production. Ang mga kababataan natin, ayaw nila maging farmers. Bakit? Napakahirap maging farmers. Pero hindi naman lahat ng farming is... Urban farming is a different animal. It's a different story. It's not only for profit. It's also for your own security. You can produce food. I don't have to buy vegetables. I just go to the farm, collect vegetables, and come home, and my wife and family can enjoy the food. Urban, family, uh, urban farming is a right direction for urban people. Yung mga probinsya, taga probinsya, yung mga outside of urban areas, pag isiba natin, ano ang dapat gawin natin? Specifically on land. Land reform is about government lands, not private lands. There are still government lands available. How do we put it together, as mentioned by uh, Secretary Dar and uh, our director, how do we maximize, di ba? put them together for uh, some farmers to go in and produce or even subsidize them with uh, good seeds, with good uh, technology, and even mechanization. This is another area where we should look into. And the third area is the private sector. Like the Federation, we are willing to invest in agriculture for the future of this country. Agriculture is still the biggest employer. Ang dami po nagtatrabaho sa agri. So we have to generate employment, to generate income, to help our economy move forward, to elevate our economy. Pag maganda ang economy natin, maganda rin ang negosyo. Lalaki din ang negosyo namin. So we want Philippines to move forward. That is crucial for businessmen. Pag bumagsak ang economy natin, baksak din ang negosyo namin. So it's the key. We want this to happen in the Philippines. 
I came from Korea, I came from China, I came from Japan, all over the other countries they are looking into agriculture as a means of food security. Wag natin papayaan nito. And also, the business as a whole. Please remember, we are not only here to make profits. That is not correct. I employ the hearing impaired in my factory. Kaya kung bumisita kayo sa factory namin, tahimik, walang chismis, dahil mga pipi ang employee namin. Okay? Bakit? Tumutulong kami sa mga people with disabilities. Kailangan. Sila po ay tao rin tulad ninyo at tulad namin. Kailangan ng trabaho. Kailangan may income. Kasi may pamilya din sila. So kami naniniwala, we should also help people with disabilities. At the end of the day, we are all Filipino. We are here in this beautiful country. Let's make this country a better place for us and for the future for more and more Filipinos to come. Alam niyo, masyadong romantika Pilipino where we have the highest population growth in the region. More than 2%. How do we feed them? How do we feed them? How do we sustain them? It's agriculture. It's employment. It's, at the end of the day, it's their income that will make you and me. Kailangan tulungan natin. Malaki po ang role ng media. Malaki po role, ang role ng government. Malaking ang role ng private sector. The academy. Everybody is involved. We are in this boat together. If we sink, if the boat sinks, everybody sinks with the boat. Diba? Nasa, we are in the same boat, so to speak. So magtulungan tayo. Maghanap tayo ng paraan para umunlad ang Pilipinas. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Thank you, Mr. Happy to